Hey, Kat here from Cat's Divinely Designs. So as I was sitting here um, opening my jump rings, which I normally do, I just wanted to share some time-saving tips that I do that might help you as well. Um, as I just said, I open all of my jump rings in a big batch. And you can do this whenever you have a few minutes. And you'd be surprised at how many jump rings you can open in a matter of 15 minutes even doing it while you're watching TV. Just to open the jump rings and set a stash aside so that when you're making your orders, your jump rings are already open and then all you have to do is attach your uh, bead and then just close them. It saves so much time, you'd really be surprised. I also um, actually prepare my closures in advance so I don't have to do that at the end of my when I'm completing my rosary it's already done for me that's another step saving time when I have a lot of orders it really comes in handy another thing that I do which may not work for everyone but when my charms come in that don't have um, jump rings attached I try to attach jump rings right when my order comes in before I even put it away that also saves you a tremendous amount of time when you're going to do an order especially on charms and crosses that I use a lot of it saves you so much time when you're creating your design or making your orders it sends them out quickly also I do the same with my centerpieces that I use a lot of I'll actually link them up before I even put them away now I know some orders come in bulk batches where like you have a hundred of them you just can't do that many but if you can do a few before you even put them away it really will save you a lot of time when you have 10 orders sitting in front of you and you're like oh god how am I going to get all these orders out today I know I have a time frame that I need to get these orders out and I just don't have the time to do it but that's what I do and I thought I'd share that with you another thing that I find really really helpful is when you're arranging your beads of course arrange them by color or whatever works for you but what I'll do is I have a few patterns that use the same colors in their pattern so I'll try to arrange my beads in a bead box that has that particular pattern in my bead box and I put it right at the top of my beads so I have easy access to them like orders that I know people order a lot of I'll put my the beads that are contained in that design in one box so that I don't have to pull three boxes or four boxes because they have four different bead colors in them. So that's another tip I always find helpful. And, um, you know, the other thing that I do is when I go to print my orders, what I'll do is um, I will pack my printer like this. I will put my label, my label sheet down and then I'll put a blank piece of paper on top and continue that the whole way. A label, a blank sheet, a label, a blank sheet and then put the whole thing into my printer page um, feeder and this way I don't have to keep changing out my printer paper. So that's another tip. I'm sure everybody does that but some people may not do that and they may you know just print their packing slips and then print the labels separately but if you want to do it all together so that your label and then your packing slip come out together that's a quick and easy way to do it so there are my tips on how to save some time and that's all I got today anyway that's all I can think of so <laughs> ciao for now